And that's exactly why you should invest in some plastic tees. I've got a delivery for you, but you got to read the letter first. Okay, this is interesting. Hi Alex, I've sent you a club and there's no way you're going to be able to carry it 300 yards. Oh dear, I can't do this. Oh, this is hard. If you happen to perform this miracle, you can keep it. Good luck, you will need it. P.S. I know it may not look like it, but it is a driver. Jeremy. And this is the club. Make sure you subscribe to the Academy channel. Nice plug. I wonder what this is. You have got to be actually joking me. With this retro review, we are heading into prehistoric territory. And it's not because of the club's age. It's because the club looks like it's been made out of a T-Rex incisor. And the only way this could possibly have been made legal in 1991 was if John Hammond was the head of the USGA. Made famous in the hands of no other than John Daly. The Cobra Ultra Mid was designed because Daly was destroying the original metal heads due to his power. Hence the name, Grip It and Rip It. So Cobra designed this, made of Kevlar, which is the same material used with ballistic masks and also bulletproof vests. It's pretty strong and I don't think this is going to pop in this review. Before we get into the specs of this golf club, as this is a retro review, we would like to know what else happened in 1991, apart from daily destroying drivers. In the cinemas, we had Terminator 2, Robin Hood, and a movie made after me, Hook. In golf, Payne Stewart won the US Open and Woozy won the green jacket. Wow. The huge video game releases were Sonic and the Lemmings. And in F1, Ayrton Senna won his third title and it was also the debut for the great Michael Schumacher. Okay, to the specs. 43 inch in length, 10 and a half head. The shaft is a Palm Springs PSG boron shaft. And the grip, yes, just, there is one. Only just though. The mammoth's tooth is ready. So, Jeremy Setters, the target of 300 yards carry. 272 meters on the fly. I think the only chance we've got of doing this is from a tee, but for ultimate bragging rights, I'm gonna give it a go from the deck first. The challenge is with the deck, can we get 300 total? That would then set me up for the carry with the tee. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was horrible. That's gone 260, that was a horrendous swing. Oh, well, there goes my confidence in one shot. How low is that? 272, it's not gonna do it, is it? 265. Oh my good night. I can't do this. That was bottom. Oh, this is hard. That's probably the only chance we're going to get. Go. 263. We've got to find 10 meters. The idea was that they're going to be that close together. I could go, they're moving in herds. But they're not. <laughs> they're all over the shop. Listen, Jeremy, I'm not giving in. Not giving in. Okay, I'm close to giving in. That felt mint. Got to be. 274. Okay. Apart from all of them, that was really good. So I think we're going to get a lot more distance here because we're getting low spin. So if we can get this launch in and we don't hit the bottom half, which is all of the head, because it's that small. We'll do all right. Yeah, great. Jeremy, I am keeping this golf club. That felt good. It's not nowhere near though, is it? That worries me. Two, five, nine. That is so far off. Load and bang. 
Oh, come on. No, it's not. It's nowhere near. 262 on the fly. Look at the clubbing speed, man. I'm not losing this. Go. 265. We've got this. We have got this. Oh my goodness. That felt quick. Too much spin, I think. Go. I like it over there. <laughs> that was absolutely sh**. Do you like the adjustable hosel of this thing? Oh. I'll give myself 15 shots. It's got to end at some point. Is that just really high? That's going to do it. I think we've done it. 270. I need a rest. Bottom. Please. Oh my goodness. I think I've spoken too soon. Fly! No. It looks good. 272. That was extremely difficult, but a lot of fun. Welcome to Retro Reviews. Let's, let's have a look at the numbers of that last shot. Oh, the numbers. So, a lot of everything. Just showing how hard this is to hit. And it's, it's probably one of the hardest things I've hit. Right, numbers. So with that last shot, we got up to 124 miles an hour. Ball speed of 175. Total distance of 293. But more importantly, the carry was 273 meters. I can't believe we actually did it. I can't believe we actually did it. I honestly didn't think we would. That was amazing fun. Guys, comment below. What do you think to this? <laughs> what do you think to this format? Did you enjoy it? That's what's really important. But as always, thank you so much for sticking with me and watching. Hit that subscribe button. We are really tracking now and you make sure you hit that bell because if you don't know, hit the bell, as I said earlier, you're not going to get notified about these crazy videos and we've got some pretty hot ones coming up including giveaways so thank you very much if you need any more help follow me on social media email is down below thank you make sure you subscribe to the academy channel <laughs> welcome everyone to the got <laughs> go <laughs> welcome everybody another blooper <laughs> And that's exactly why you should own a tiger head cover. And that's why you should wear gold pants and not shorts. I would like to keep this. It's pretty special.